Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily for today, Tuesday, June 28th. I'm Greg Lawless here at MLSsoccer.com. The big news, DC United wheeling and dealing yesterday, making some improvements in their team. First, the big one, they pick up Dwayne De Rosario, five-time All-Star from the New York Red Bulls in exchange for Dax McCarty. That should give them another great option in the attack to go along with what Chris Pontius and Andy Nahar have been doing so far. They also shore up something in the back line, picking up Brandon McDonald from the San Jose Earthquakes in exchange for allocation money. McDonald could also feature in the midfield as a holding midfielder, which he's done for the Earthquakes. While it's obvious what the motivation was for United with these deals, they upgrade in a couple of positions. Not really sure about the New York Red Bulls though. Dwayne De Rosario was brought in earlier in the season in a trade with Toronto. In fact, two starters went north of the border and also a draft pick. Now, there are some people who say this indicates the Red Bulls will be going after a high-priced third designated player once the summer window opens up. Also, what does this mean for Dax McCarty? Where does he fit in this team? Obviously, Medi Bellucci playing well for the Red Bulls at attacking midfielder, and Temo Tenio has become a stalwart as the holding midfielder, so is there a place in there for Dax McCarty? Well, there's actually a chance we could find out where Dax McCarty fits for the Red Bulls tonight, because they're starting up their U.S. Open Cup campaign against crosstown rivals FC New York. Now, the lower division side, FC New York, have been tweaking the Red Bulls a little bit, calling them in the Wall Street Journal, actually, that team over in New Jersey. So, already the rhetoric starting up in the U.S. Open Cup. Now, the Red Bulls are one of eight teams in action in the round of 16 tonight in the U.S. Open Cup. Here on MLSsoccer.com, we are going to have a mega chat slash commentary slash live analysis as it's happening all night long. There are several crosstown rivalries actually taking place here. Up in Seattle, they'll be facing Kitsap Pumas, who are actually coached by someone who works for the Sounders on the broadcasting side. And the LA Galaxy will be taking on the LA Blues, a lower division side out there as well. But it all gets going when Columbus faced the Richmond Kickers. Columbus have already said they're going to play some of their reserves, but one of those reserves includes Robbie Rogers, who's just back from U.S. national team duty, and Danny O'Rourke, who looks like he might get some action after a long-term injury has kept him out. You can join us, as I said, here on a mega chat, mega commentary, whatever you want to call it, here on MLSsoccer.com. A few more things before we go. If you missed it yesterday, the Colorado Rapids, the 2010 MLS Cup champions, went to the White House to meet President Barack Obama. Obama showed his love of soccer and knowledge of the game, mentioning Lionel Messi and comparing himself to that, and also saying that Kosuke Kimura's speech before the MLS Cup final last year might have been the thing that put the Rapids over the top and making a little joke about the fact that no one really understood it anyway because it was all in Japanese. A couple of other things, ET Radio is out on iTunes and Buzzsprout. We spoke about the U.S. national team and the fallout from the loss to Mexico with Brian Strauss and Jonah Friedman. We're also joined by Arlo White who gave us his take on how the Seattle Sounders, why they're playing so well and how they might actually win the Supporters Shield. Today, don't forget to check out the MLSsoccer.com power rankings. They'll be out and the team of the week a little bit later on. That's it for the Daily. We'll talk to you tomorrow.